Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, May the 1st, 2017. And I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. Happy May. The weeks, the months are rolling by. And we're getting closer and closer uh, to seeing our uh, Lord Jesus Christ. I have a, a devotional, a couple of devotionals for you today. But first, I'd like to talk about a couple of things. Um, uh, first, I hope you um, all listen to the um, the latest prophetic dream I had. Uh, it was so riveting, the feeling in the dream. Um, this was about the Antichrist. And um, I believe that the Lord gave me that as a warning to where we are right now. Um, and um, another thing, I um, I posted a video called Know Your Enemy and part one. I'm going to put out part two today and I want everybody to make sure that they watch part one first and then part two. This was such a powerful, this was given to me personally as an answer to prayer. Um, I have been struggling my whole life and digging my heels into um, gluttony which has is a familiar spirit in my family that claim the lives of many people. And um, I have hated it from the very beginning. Um, a battle I struggled with my whole life, up and down, up and down. Even the Lord had set me free in January of 2015 um, through obedience, which I was only able to hang on to for a few months and then it came back with a vengeance and um, I asked my husband asked me I had a birthday last week and my husband asked me he said Judy he said what do you want for your birthday I said I only want one thing for my birthday I said I want to be set free from this eating thing I, I just in so much bondage I said um, the Lord won't answer me I said, but maybe he'll do it for you if you ask him. So he said that he prayed for me. And the next thing I knew, I clicked on this video from this pastor. And it was on deliverance. And a lot of the things that we struggle with, even after we come to the Lord and we're saved, not everything will flee as we transform. And there are certain ad things, addictions, and things that still cling. At, the root is so deep that they need to be evicted. So I didn't know what this was, but I had the impression, um, the um, fe fe felt compelled to click on it. And I know a lot about demons and how they operate. Uh, so this was very interesting to me. And the title of the video didn't reveal that it was about deliverance, but about the enemy. So I clicked on it, and as you know, if you watched video one, it was very, very interesting and revealing. Now video two goes a little bit further about them and how they operate and how they travel in families and how they travel in communities and how they travel in countries okay so this is very interesting I beg you to watch part two and if you're struggling with any kind of addiction that you just can you feel yourself being perfected by the Lord but there's just this one thing that you just keep falling back into you need to watch this video because at the end he will tell you exactly what you need to do to get rid of this. 
and uh, there are things like you know you you have to forgive everybody you have to repent which most of these things if you're in the body of Christ you you've already done but you go through the list you do them and then he says a prayer and you repeat the prayer with him okay and after I did this I had no desire to eat only when I was absolutely hungry and uh, many of us who have this issue don't even know what real hunger feels like because it's the demon provoking you to eat which you misinterpret as hunger and um, since this happened I believe it was um, maybe Friday now it's already Monday I have no um, no torment in my head hammering me um, to eat when I wasn't hungry which is what demons do they hammer you in your head you know they 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 compel you see see because they need to use a body they don't they don't they're disembodied spirits so if they could use you to experience gluttony or drugs or sex or whatever they want to get you to convince you so that they could use their flesh your flesh to act these things out so that they could get satisfied but there's no satisfying a demon because they just want to repeat it over and over and over again and while you're doing it it's destroying your temple so I'm gonna put that up after this and I, I, I implore you to watch it and I hope that you have the same results from it that I did because I've been I thank the Lord I honestly uh, feel so peaceful without that demon presence in me tormenting me forever so um, he answered my husband's prayer and he gave it to me now another thing I wanted to mention is that I noticed that the um, the video that I, I put up the message that I had from the father to Pastor Paul uh, is um, now attracting a lot of negative postings and um, I said to the father I said father I said how I said they they're just defending him and they're rattling all the good things that he's done and in that video I've never disqualified any of the good things that the pastor has done I just pointed out what the father told me to point out that that particular investment was not in the Lord's will okay and um, you know I said father does that mean that they're you know um, they're bad people or um, they can't see truth uh, what is it you know so he gave me this morning he gave me the word proclivity and I looked up proclivity and it means an inclination like a predisposition to do what they're doing in other words you know they're not they didn't hear my whole video they didn't take the video in the way it was given but they have a predisposition to be punitive and defensive without ingesting the whole content of what I said so uh, then I said to him well father I said you gave me the word proclivity I said and uh, how do I know that 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 you're answering my request so then he gave me the word propensity and I looked that up and it means the exact same thing so he confirmed what I'm saying so that these people that are leaving these long-winded uh, posts to defend the pastor um, have a bias towards him in other words they can't see the truth that I said because they're more interested they're leaning towards him as like a fan you know if you're a fan of somebody you will defend them 
if somebody talks against them. So basically you miss the truth because your your inclination, you're biased. See? You're biased. It's like um you know um the the uh, Democrat or Republican, you're biased to certain views and things. So uh, that's what the Lord had told me. So if you go to that thread, you know, and you see these posts, just, you know, let them blow their wind. And um, I have no, I've already moved on from it. The Father confirmed to me that it was from Him. And if they don't want to believe it, uh, that's up to them. But I know my father and I know his voice. And I know um, the presence of the Lord and I know my intention. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm clear. I'm clean and I move forward. That's father told me to move forward. So uh, on that note, I would like to say the Our Father and uh, bring you these... Um, Devotionals. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay. This is called wisdom of wisdom for life, and uh, Proverbs three one and two. Let your heart keep my commands, for length of days and long life and peace they will add to you. When you choose God's wisdom over the world's, you begin to develop a depth to your life that would never have been possible before you came to know Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is because the Father's wisdom is given not only so you can make wise decisions, but also you can live the life He created you to enjoy as a believer. Living wisely includes many things, one of which is abiding peace. When you exercise true wisdom, seeking the Lord for direction and walking in the center of His will, you will have, quotes, the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, guarding your heart and mind. You can read about that in Philippians 4 7. This is because when problems come, you can rest in the fact that the Father's omniscient wisdom is guiding you which alleviates feelings of anxiety and stress. <sighs> Praise God, hallelujah. <sighs> Likewise, a wise believer trusts in the abilities of other members of the body of Christ, other Christians who are serving God faithfully. In other words, you are not in this life alone. You have others you can depend on with confidence. Another benefit is that you discover the things that truly give meaning and fulfillment to your life. The values, activities, relationships, and disciplines that can only be spiritually discerned. So today, give thanks for the godly wisdom that not only guides your steps, but also enriches your life. God wants so much for you, my friend. So choose to seek Him, obey His commands, and walk in His wisdom. Certainly, when you do, uh, you will experience life at its most profound and its very best. And a prayer we can say is, Lord God, thank you so much for enriching my life with your wisdom in such a powerful way. Help me to walk in the center of your will so my life can be all you designed it to be. Amen. And this next one is called All Around Well-Being. And it's from Proverbs 420 to 22. Turn your ear to my words, for they are life to those who find them, and health 
to one's whole body. In this third letter, the Apostle John addresses a faithful layman named Gaius, who was a great blessing to the local church. He fed and housed traveling pastors when they came through town, and he was generous with time and money and life God gave him. John's letter applauds Gaius' service, and he writes, quotes, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health as your soul prospers. Unquote. John's prayer recognizes that the Lord actually wants us to prosper in all three aspects of life, physically, financially, and spiritually. We often think about the spiritual benefits of submitting to God, but we shouldn't miss the health and financial blessings that accompany walking with Him. When our focus is keeping our relationship with God growing, it will make a tremendous difference in every aspect of our lives because the issues that arise will not seem so overwhelming. We will not attempt to assuage our troubles with wealth or drown them without with um, drown them out with addictive behaviors that impact our well-being. Tactics that always fail. So instead, focus our focus is on the Father. And we know, quotes, we can do all things through him who strengthens us. And that's from Philippians 4.13. So if you find yourself overcome with worry about health or financial matters, there may be some underlying fear or issue that is driving your concerns. Ask God to help you identify the source of your anxiety and what's causing your problems. Focus on your relationship with Him and allow Him to work in you. And as he does, the other areas of your life will be brought into a healthy balance. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And a prayer we can say is, Father, I know that your word is life. Work in me, reveal what is wrong, and bring all things into a healthy balance. Amen. And yeah, um, when you're walking in the will of the Father, everything falls into place. Everything. And uh, you know, when things come up that are unsettling, um, you're not you're not shake so shaken. You're not. You first look to the Father for answers, and then, based on your relationship with the Father. He will let you know if this is a trial that you just have to endure, if he's testing your faith. He never said that we wouldn't have a tribulation here on earth. And it doesn't mean going through the tribulation. It means just trouble, you know, things. Things happen. But we always have the Father to guide us through them. And all things pass, you know. Anything that you could be going through right now is going to pass. Just look back on your life and the crises you were in. They passed. And you had a period of uh, delay where you were peaceful. And then something else happened and it passed. And that's life. And the Father is here. He never told us we would have a cakewalk in, in life. He said, you will have tribulation but he will be there he's there to hold your hand and to guide you through it so on that note i would like to say have a beautiful day in the lord people i love you jesus loves you never forget how much he loves you he is so forgiving and so merciful and so patient and he's just waiting for you he's waiting for you to come to him for his wisdom for his love and his guidance and if you're saved and you need to surrender more, surrender more. Come to him and ask him to help you surrender. And he will. Be blessed, people. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming very soon.